Hi, I'm Diane Badalak. I'm an international grooming consultant for the Andis Company. Today we're going to talk about ears. A lot of our terriers and some other breeds have what are called prick ears. And today we're going to show you how to safely clip and trim them to nice little points. The tools I'm going to use are the Andis Pulse Ion Clipper, adjustable blade clipper, and the little six inch Andis shears. I really like using my Pulse Ion adjustable blade clipper for doing ears because I use a lot of different blade settings depending on the, the breed. Um, we can pretend the Scotty is a Westie just to start or even a Yorkie where you only want to trim the tips. And in that case, what I would do is I would take my, my thumb and do a thumbprint. And that is all you would take from the top. And I would start with my bl blade set on a 30 and just do the inside of the ear. Now you always want to make sure when you're doing ears that you are clipping towards the edge. If you come down this way, you risk the chance of the, the very thin ear leather getting caught between the teeth of the blade. And then you end up with a nicked ear. That would be all I would do and then I would edge it. With the Scotty, we're going to take off the whole back of the ear. So I'm going to flip this over to the 10 blade setting. And again, I'm always clipping towards the edge of the ear. And as I'm doing it, I have that leather flat. I'm holding it flat with my thumb against my flat fingers. That way I know it's not going to curl, it's not going to roll, and I won't catch that edge of the leather in the blade. I'm also, as I get to the edge, sort of letting the blade slide over and cut those little stray hairs. Then I'm going to do the inside of the ear by flipping it to a 40. Same thing. Using my thumb to hold the leather flat against my fingers and clipping towards the edge. And using the blade when I get there to kind of roll off the ear into my finger, which gives me a clean edge. And it'll save me scissoring when I'm done. Remember, always to the edge. The other thing, if you're doing a full ear, like on a schnauzer, they do have a little flap of skin on the inside of the ear. You want to be very careful you don't catch that. Once I get it all clipped, I'm going to take my six inch straight shears. Again, holding the ear firmly and flat. I'm just going to hold my blades at a 45 degree angle to the ear leather and just come up. You always want to point the tips of your shears towards the tips of the ear. Remember, tips of the ear, tip of the shears, always there. If you're coming, try to scissor down. What it might do is get caught in the grains of hair and nick the ear. And there is our pretty clean Scotty ear.